every city in the country, every city in the world, probably has a pizza place. Usually pretty good or pretty cheap. Do you know anyone that doesn't like pizza? Well, yes, if your pizza looks like this, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and today I'm gonna show you the worst homemade pizza you'll ever eat. Yes, this is a response video to Tasty Channel. Really guys, like this is the worst pizza in the world. And here's why. Only takes a few simple ingredients. What you're gonna need is a little bit of warm water. It's gonna activate a good amount of dried yeast. A bit of sugar that's gonna act as food for the yeast. Salt for flavor. Flour for the base of the dough extra virgin olive oil that's going to one make your dough a little bit easier to work with it's also going to add just a little hint of flavor well as you know i'm italian i don't mind olive oil but did you hear what she just said you know warm water well warm water does not activate yeast water should be at around 16 celsius or cold or even at room temperature sugar is not going to act as a good source of food for the yeast as this will make the pizza heavier, you know, it will be heavier and unbearable and hard to eat. Oh no, even the quality of the dough looks really bad. Did you see how she um, when she unfolded, you know, the, the dough is just, you know, it's not reacting properly, you know, this is not good at all. Sorry to say that. You see, that's the problem. One hour is not enough for your dough to rise. That's really, really bad because after you eat your pizza, you'll feel like you ate your Thanksgiving turkey. You won't be able to move or go anywhere or even talk if that is the case. But trust me, if you let your pizza dough rise for 24 hours or 48 hours, the longer your pizza dough will rise, the better it will be. And you will feel light, you will feel good and you will be able to digest your pizza properly. Well, the secret for a good pizza is to be found in the ingredients you use for making that pizza. This tomato sauce or tomato chops and whatever it is, it really doesn't look like good stuff. It's like a sea without fish or a world without a woman. <laughs> <laughs> prevents it from clumping in the bag. It just kind of doesn't allow things to melt as easily. If you shred the cheese yourself, it's gonna be much softer. It's gonna be a better flavor in the end. So if you have the option, we do recommend that you shred the cheese yourself. Cheese? That's not cheese. I wouldn't ever put cheddar cheese in my pizza. No one here in Italy would do that. That's crazy, that's insane, you know? This pizza is freaking burnt. We don't eat burnt pizza. We don't burn our cheese. We don't burn anything. It doesn't look brown. Trust me, it still looks white. So make sure that when you cook your pizza, you cook it properly, you know? You don't need to burn everything. You don't need to burn everything for goodness sake. So I went to see my friends. They actually work in a pizzeria as pizzaios. So they're like masters of pizza place I want to advertise is called Nota di Gusto, this is a very very good pizzeria, I would say one of the best pizzerias in Palermo, so if you ever happen to come to Palermo, you can't miss this place, you will find a link in the description below. So without further ado, come with me and I'll show you the real pizza.
Bye. Bye.